Hi, I'm John Wolf Scharndl. Uh, I'm a veteran of World War II, and uh, I'd like to start uh, where I, uh, way back and uh, way stay off in, in high school days. Uh, I was in the class of 1943, and uh, of course the war was going on already. This is after Pearl Harbor, and uh, and uh, uh, there was. If you had enough points at, at Christmas time to graduate, you can graduate. But at the same time, you can select your, your branch of, of service that you want to go into. And a lot of the kids, they knew they were going to get drafted anyway. If they didn't, then they, when you're drafted, they just put you where they want you. And uh, some of them uh, did take advantage of that. And, of course, I was needed on the ranch. Uh, as, uh, we, were, we were farmers, and I was needed at home, so I just stuck it out. I said, "Well, I'll get I'll get drafted when I get drafted." And sure enough, I, uh, I got out and and uh, graduated. And bingo, I got my greetings notice from Uncle Sam. Uh, uh, so I was called in, and uh, and I uh, went to uh, uh, for training. Basic training was uh, Kearns, Kearns, Utah, and that was a big desert place out there. And of course, you know, when you're in training, they don't want to baby you with anything. You got to rough it, you know. So we had we had to do a lot of uh, hiking and uh, and oh gosh, all kinds of uh, calisthenics. We'd get toughen you up, you know. And so uh, from then, uh, I'm trying to figure out how. To remember all the places I had to go to for for. Uh, for next stations. Well, the next station I think was uh, Boise, Idaho. Uh, as this is after after basic training uh, to uh, for flying. Uh, so uh, I always wanted. I didn't know had no desire to be a pilot, but I I uh, I I was interested in in flying into maybe a gunner or something. And, well, I sure was. <laughs> I was designated to be a gunner, so we had basic training air, and uh, we took off, and uh, I remember in an AT-6, it's a small single-engine plane, and I was facing, seated backwards toward the tail, and I had a, ma a machine gun on a half-circle uh, rack that I had to swing into the slipstream to, to fire, and, uh, and the pilot, which would, would have been behind me, he says, whatever you do, don't shoot off her tail. Yeah, because <laughs> that's bad news. <laughs> that was my first airplane ride, <laughs> and I just couldn't believe it. You know, I, was, uh, I didn't get sick or excited or anything, but we had to get down a little real low to the ground, and and as as we went zipping by, there were targets on the ground, and we had a fire on them, and you well, you could see the dust flying up when the, where the bullets hit, you know, and uh, so that. Uh, that's what uh, uh, what that part was about, and then later on, uh, I had uh, uh, we had crew trainings. Uh, to uh, we got together finally for the first time, all the guys. So we start working as a together as a crew. Uh, that's a t ten ten uh, ten guys to uh, to an airplane. I mean, you had the pilot, co-pilot, radio operator, navigator. Tail gunner, nose gunner, top gunner, and belly gunner, and the second engineer, and a radio man. I guess I've left him out, and uh, and that's where we really knit together. I mean, that's when you really and uh, and uh, the pilot, uh, he's he's deceased now. There's in fact, I, as I mentioned last night, there's only three of us left uh, out of out of that crew of ten, and uh, we had to do all that training, and uh, uh, we. Uh, uh, we've trained a lot here in the states, and, and uh, we're ready to ship out. And, and uh, as, as a, one of the, the, the tail gunner, uh, John T. Swick was his name. He was kind of a happy-go-lucky kid, and he decided this was the morning before we were going to ship out to Italy uh, as, a, as a crew. He decided he was having too much fun at the bar there, and uh, so he. Uh, <laughs> he says, hey, you know where I can get some civvy clothes? Because curfew was at 10 o'clock. You had to be in uniform all the time. And uh, he wanted some civvy clothes. 
to, uh, you know, to avoid curfew. And he was, I guess he was so rowdy there at the, whatever, uh, drinking or whatever. And somebody, somebody called uh, the MPs, that's the military police. And they nabbed him and, and they threw him in, they threw him in jail overnight. And the pilot, he didn't know, we didn't, we didn't know nothing about it until the next morning. And uh, so the pilot says, uh, and he is going to get court-martialed for this. I mean, that's a serious offense. Uh, well, in a way, it's a serious offense. And then, in, in other words, it wasn't, you know, but it was, according to military <laughs> regulations. So, so, Mike says, he says, I'm not waiting for a, for a, 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 a you know, a, a hearing on this, and he, he'll be get put in the slammer for a while. He says, he says, uh, next morning he's, he, well, he, he went to the headquarters and that says, is there any place anywhere else where there's somebody wants a, a B-24 crew? And I says, yeah, there's somebody in uh, Will Rogers Field in, in, in Oklahoma City. They're, they're looking for uh, a, a, a B-24 crew. So what you do? He, he commandeers without even the authorities knowing about this, commandeered a B-24. He says, all right, get you, you guys get on board. We're out of here. He takes off, and we fly to Will Rogers Field <laughs> against all rules and regulations. <laughs> hey, he could have been in a slammer for a real long time. Well, we got off there and, then, and left the plane there, and he didn't get in any trouble at all over that. Somebody had to come back from and, and fly that plane back. So, <coughs> so we started all over again going for, for uh, aerial photography. And uh, uh, that, was, that was what we, what we were doing there. We, we took a converted B-24 that had, that had the front bomb bay was, it had two big gas tanks in there for extra long range uh, flights. And in the rear half of the bomb bay was was a, a big photo room. It was all automated and and all. This this is a specialist. That's all he did. And Ernie Jones is his name, and uh, he was a Canadian. And uh, so uh, we started training uh, just doing that. And so uh, we we missed the 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 flight to uh, to uh, Italy. And uh, and because I, I you know you have to, in hindsight wow you get to thinking about that I says you know that that was a rough deal over there because the big push was over in Europe you know and and mm -hmm. and, and, and and get that war over with over there first and then we'll take care of the the Japanese problem later on so uh, okay uh, uh, we got to we got to all our training and what we had to do is. We flew 20,000 feet above terrain. Here's terrain right here. That's ground level. Well, these cameras, they had a, a big camera in the, in, the, in the back, and you had two of them up in the nose. They call them trimets, and they would shoot angle, uh, angle shots out so that you could see what's going off on the side. And, uh, uh, and we flew solo. We had no, no fighter escort. We were not in formation. We just told uh, we're going out to a, a Japanese operation somewhere and take pictures of them and, and come back. And he had uh, all this film's got to be unloaded and we had a big uh, uh, laboratory there that, that processed all this, all this film that we, uh, that we brought back. And they laid it out on a, on a big, on the floor in a big mosaic and it says, hey, this and this and this. And it says, hey, this is uh, somebody to a fighter or a bomber outfit that says, hey, go do a number on these guys. Were these still shots? Huh? This, these were still shots, right? Not, yes, yes. not movies. Yeah, okay. they were, oh, yeah, yeah. And those, you, so those you had to movies. piece they them were, together. There were nine, there was a Fairchild cameras with big lenses on them like that, and it was in uh, uh, 500 foot rolls, I believe. And uh, they took pictures about like that. Okay. And uh, that was... That's what was in those cameras, and that's what they had to. Uh, so then you had to make it piece together. Yeah, they like laid this all out on a on a pat, uh, like on a, a patchwork on a, on a mosaic on the floor on on the floor, and 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 this is this is what uh, what they're looking for, you know. Mm -hmm. And so with the, 